This week on the Roofing Report, a contractor filed for bankruptcy in January, but he is still giving out a business advice. Then a robot will be working on roofs this summer. You could work with it. Later, how the new solar tariffs could change the industry and a major decision from the Texas Supreme Court. Hey insiders, welcome back to the Roofing Report. I've got a surprise for you this week. If you want to learn a little bit of Russian, keep watching until the end. But while you wait, please give us a like down below. And if you have a story idea to share, send it to sydney at roofinginsights.com. Now let's get to the news. Fines, scams, and jail time. Our first story this week is a public service announcement. We got a tip from one of you about Sam Kaufman, a business coach at Win Rate Consulting. Now, Sam used to own a company called On The Level Construction, but in January, he filed for bankruptcy. I did not sign up for all that. It, this is just unbelievable. It's got a $17,116.42. Customers from across the low country, from West Ashley to North Charleston to Bono, are reeling after their trusted contractor went bankrupt last month, leaving their projects in limbo. For Karen McLaren, it's hard to get around. So she contacted On The Level to build a handicap accessible bathroom for her and her husband, a surviving Vietnam prisoner of war. Despite paying half up front in late December, not a hammer was ever lifted. They had plenty of time to tell us that they were going to uh, fold and why didn't they send my money back? Back then, we did not know about this story. We are covering it now because Sam is still coaching contractors and this bankruptcy not over yet. According to court records, at least six homeowners have filed claims saying they are owed money by their own level construction. There are even more claims from banks and other creditors. All of them are hoping to be paid back from what's left off on the level's assets. That process has been taken over by a trustee while Sam Kaufman gets the rest of the debt deleted. You would think with all of this going on, Sam would not be given out a business advice, but he is. And this is the closest thing we could find to a statement on his bankruptcy where you could loan it to yourself, pay yourself back, even with a small interest rate, and you make a little bit of money on your company to pay you some back and you can control the terms. And so like, I'm a big fan of betting on yourself if possible. I'm, again, I'm not anti-debt. I just, I've become, in the past 24 months, I've become very, very, very apprehensive to encourage people to take on debt to grow. It is incredibly dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and it can be incredibly hard to dig out. Of. Now, I'm all for the second chances, but I also believe in honesty. So this is our PSA to the industry. Let us know what you think about this story in comments. Can you trust this coach? Tools and tech. This next story is a fun one. If you are in New Jersey or Pennsylvania, you can sign up to try out Rufus the Roofing Robot. You might remember when Renovate Robotics released this video a couple months ago. Now, their robot is ready for real life testing. They sent out a link earlier this week for contractors to sign up. I'm very interested to see how Rufus does. If you get to work with him, send us a video. More stories are coming up, but first I want to give a shout out to Estimate Experts for making this video possible. I know all of you contractors out there hate dealing with the paperwork. With Estimate Experts, you can stay out of the office and in the field doing what you do best. They know how to work with insurance companies. Everything is documented and easy to understand. The CEO of Mauricio is a friend of mine, so I really trust them. My favorite part about Estimate Experts is their pricing. It's very affordable and easy to understand compared to other services similar on their field. If you need help with the Estimate, check out their website, estimateexperts.com. Solar News. Next up, some solar news. A two-year pause on solar tariffs ended last week. The tariffs apply to solar panels made in China and Southeast Asia. The Biden administration put a pause on them 
in 2022 to help jumpstart the solar industry and make cheaper imports available. But now they want to focus on growing solar manufacturing in the US. The tax on panels from Asia depends on the company, but can be up to 250%. Q-Cells is a manufacturer in Georgia and one of the American films the tariffs are supposed to help. A Q-Cell rep told the New York Times that they are happy about the tax. But if the U.S. wants to level the playing field, stronger policies are needed. We have to wait and see how effective they are. Badger's Corner. Now we've got a take from Steve Badger, the insurance industry lawyer. The Texas Supreme Court decided in favor of the Texas Insurance Department or TDI in their case against Stonewater Roofing. Stonewater was suing TDI over a law that it requires public adjusters to be licensed to negotiate with the insurance companies. They try to argue that it violates the First Amendment because it limits the free speech. If the case moved forward and Stonewater had won, it would have gotten rid of the licensing requirement in Texas. But the Supreme Court took the insurance department's side on this one. They said contractors can't advertise their negotiating skills if they don't have an adjuster license. Steve Badger says they got it right. What do you think? Should public adjusters be licensed? Let us know in the comments. Good news. The last story is a good one, but stick around until the end if you want to learn a Russian proverb. A family in Maryland is counting their blessings after a tree crashed in their roof. Shout out to this crew working through the night to help them. Take a look behind me here. You can see, what is it, 11 o'clock at night. People are up on the roof over there. They are trying to restore that home so that uh, people can, can get back in there and live their lives after what happened last night. Now, you know, if you own a home, that even with insurance, that cost adds up fast. I don't want to cry because I'm trying my best to just be positive through this whole thing. And just Veronica Contreras that, you know, Fuentes was moved to tears as she expressed gratitude for the outpouring of love from family, neighbors, and friends who've helped her. It includes setting up a GoFundMe to help her young family pay a hefty home insurance deductible and replace things like the food and kitchen items lost when a tree snapped and plunged through the roof of their home on Tulip Drive in Gaithersburg. They've owned the home only two years and are raising their five-year-old son and baby daughter there. As workers from a local landscaping company cut up the tree in their backyard, Veronica and her husband Edgar described their horror last night as they watched TV news and realized a possible tornado was headed directly at their little house, which has no basement. Next thing I know, just the house started shaking, the ground was shaking, and my husband came in screaming, um, and he pulled me out of her room to go into my son's room that's right here in the front, and as soon as we walked out of her room, just electrical sparks were there, the whole house just, it sounded like, I can't even explain it, it was just a roaring. Veronica describes doing something profoundly instinctive as she held three-month-old Eliana in her arms. She bent her back over her daughter so that if the walls and ceiling collapsed, she would shield her child with her body. I'm so grateful. I really am. And I'm just happy that we're alive. I mean, you know, material things, they can always be rebought and fixed, but our lives can't. Last week we used bloopers at the end of the video and we received this comment and I absolutely loved it. And Shirley Marshall says, uh, instead of bloopers, why not just teach us a few words of Russian? I replied, great idea, we'll start with next episode. So I'm starting next episode. So now it's gonna become a tradition. At the end of every roofing report, I'll be sharing with you a few words or a phrase that I use all the time. If you know anything about me, I love proverbs. I love Russian and old sayings and wisdom phrases uh, that I apply to real life. There is gonna be always a lesson how we can apply it to our lives. So a little bit of wisdom for you at the end of every news episode. Today is one of my favorite about Russian bear. It goes like this. What it means is don't try to split the skin of the bear you did not kill yet. Actually, it goes back to French. I believe Russians adopted it from French proverb and French meant is uh, don't sell the skin of the bear you did not kill yet. In Russia, we say don't split the skin of the bear. I like the splitting part, but selling works too. 
So the point is this, like, you know, before you go in business with someone, before you actually have a plan and you're making money, you should not be thinking about profit. You should not be thinking about what you get out of it. Uh, last time I used was actually a couple months ago. I was with this company who hired me to come to their business and it was two partners. And I watched it in front of me how they were so excited to work together. They told me that they establishing this partnership and how God called both of them to run this business. And they were working together, you know, going 50-50, you know, to be business partners, but they only knew each other for about one month. And I told them, guys, this is crazy. You don't go 50-50 with someone you only know for 30 days. This is just like dating. It's too early. I, I you know, had great concern and I told my team, they're splitting the skin of the bear. They did not kill yet. So they were talking about profits and you know how this guy brings this value, this guy brings this value, they're gonna grow this company. They ended up splitting two weeks after we left two weeks after like Dimitri you were right it did not work out and I see it all the time if you go into business with someone you want to plan that's what the Bible says you know it's dumb to build a house without a plan so don't get too excited if you have a job offer don't get too excited today in the roofing industry if you got an email that someone wants to buy your company it's probably equity firm they send hundreds of those all the time don't get too excited if someone offers you cheap loan you know do not split the skin of the bear you did not kill yet it does not happen until it actually happened so i have you know rule even in my family my wife knows it my parents knows about it i don't talk about stuff until i actually accomplished it i hate talking about my plans with anyone i hate splitting the skin of the bear before i kill it so one more time do not split the skin of the bear you did not kill yet so if you want to wor uh, learn one word it would be medveit which is bear medveit bear but that's the proverb comment below what you think about this russian wisdom i do answer all my comments on my sunday news so if you have anything to say about this week's news comment away and i'll see you guys next sunday all of them are hoping to be paid back all of them are hoping to be paid all of them are hoping to be paid back. All of them are hoping to be... Ugh, so hard after the podcast. A two-year pass on solar tariffs at... A two-year pass and... and a two-year pass pause. It would be gotten... It would... If... <laughs> it's so... You talk for two hours on the podcast and you read this, you can't read anymore. But I got it.